Hello everyone, welcome back to another Random Coder video. Today we'll be going over how you can host your website for free um, on GitHub with GitHub Pages. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to head over to repositories and then we want to create a new repository which will host your code for your website. So if we do this, um, one important thing to note is that your repository name has to be your GitHub username. So in my case, 0xrc and then .github.io. And everything else is optional, so you don't need any of the things down below unless you really wanted to. So we can do create repository. So now that this is set up, we can start um, a bare website locally. So I'm just going to go into desktop real quick and then make a new folder called my website. And in this folder, oops, I will have an index.html file. So when GitHub Pages uh, builds your website, it will look for the index.html file as your kind of home page. So you can say my website. And then we can say hello world. We can save that. And then quit. Okay. Now that this is saved, um, we need to initialize our GitHub repo so we can do git init. Now that that's initialized, we need to add the index.html file. Um, whoops, git add. All right. Now, if you're uh, if you have more than one file, you do need to add all of them to be committed. So you need to make sure that all of them are added before you do git commit. But now we can do git commit dash m website. Oops. Okay. And now that that's done, if we check our status right now, um, everything's committed and we're good to go. So now we can check out our main branch. And then we need to link our uh, remote origin to this link right here, or whatever your GitHub link is. So then the local one can point to the remote one. So git remote at origin. HTTPS github.com slash 0xrc slash 0xrc.github.io. Now that that's done, um, we can push our change onto GitHub. So git push dash u origin main. If you do that, it might take a second, but uh, you can see that our changes have been pushed onto GitHub. And now if you head over to GitHub and refresh the page, you should see that our commit has been committed and there's an orange dot here. What this orange dot is, is that's actually a GitHub action um, and it's just building your page right now. And then once this build finishes, there'll be a pending environment that um, GitHub will try to deploy. So now that the build's finished, if you head back to the green, uh, to the home page, first of all, you should see a little check mark here and two more uh, deployment things running. And if you go to GitHub pages, you'll find that uh, it's getting deployed. Now, uh, a yellow rocket means that it's deploying, and then a green rocket would mean it's deployed. And every time you have a change that affects the looks or the functionality of your website, GitHub will re automatically redeploy this for you so you don't have to worry about doing this yourself. Uh, but if you do only change like something on the readme or some other like things that won't impact the website, GitHub will not uh, redeploy that. Um, so if it pertains to a website, GitHub will do it for you, but if it doesn't, it won't redeploy it. Um, after a while, this rocket should turn green and it should say active here. And then you see this view deployment uh, button. If you click that, it'll, uh, it'll lead you to your website. And note how this is exactly how we built our index.html. So my website, hello world. So 
your website's right here. Um, if you don't like this URL, um, you can change it, but you do have to purchase your own uh, domain off of a website. And then you need you do need to uh, forward this URL to that custom URL. Um, but we won't be covering this in this video, but just know that it is indeed a viable option if you want to pursue it. Um, but this is how you publish your website onto GitHub for free. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.